And if you uh, can you go over meditation, we'll call it meditation for dummies. Um, how, how do you recommend somebody who's not experienced at meditating to get into that, that state? Well, an understanding of its purpose is really important. And people have different purposes for meditating. The purpose that we would have if we were standing in physical shoes, our singular intention with meditation would be to focus in a way to reduce or release altogether resistance. In other words, we teach people to have to do meditation rather than try to think positively about something that they're thinking very negatively about because it's easier to have no thought than to have pure positive thought if there's something negative activated. So let's say something's bothering you and you want to think positively about it, but you can't because you've, you've been practicing this and it's, it's bouncing loud. Someone said, feels to me sometimes Abraham, like my thoughts think me, not like I'm thinking them. And so when you have that feeling that there's something going on, which you're nowhere near in this moment, but when, when something like that's happening, a very good way to shift the energy is to quiet your mind. So meditation, as far as we're concerned, is a quieting of the mind and therefore a quieting of resistant thought. And the easiest way to do it, it it's easy to do, it, but you have to find something to focus upon because you can't just put your brain on pause. Right. You can't just say, I'm not going to think about that thing that's bothering me. You know, that thing that's bothering me that's really been bothering me. I'm not going to think about that thing that's bothering me. It's been bothering me for a long time. And I'm not going to think about that thing that's bothering me that's been bothering me that's been bothering me. I don't like to talk. I'm not going to think about that thing that's bothering me because it's bothering me. And I'm not going to think about that thing that's bothering me. I'm not going to think about that thing that's bothering me. Because what happens is, even when you try not to think about that thing that's bothering you other things that are vibrationally essentially the same come so you have a whole string of things right, that are bothering right. you it's yeah. really interesting to watch it isn't it that this was what was bothering you but no now it's that now it's that now it's that now it's that now the core of all of them are the, are the same sort of thing so if you could just not think about those things but you can't not think about that unless you think about something else and the thing is if 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 you know what you don't want on the flip side of it is what you do want but often those vibrations are so far apart that even though the bounce happened the I know what I don't want is so dominant you can't find it in other words it just like you demonstrated you just can't find the thought yeah. you want to find it it's just nowhere to be found I meant to find it I had it I had it for a moment but I, I can't find it and that's the time to meditate say to yourself well I can't find that thought because it's too much of a departure from where I'm vibrating but I can quiet my mind and so meditate meditation is a quieting of the mind but it doesn't mean not thinking about anything because you can't not think about anything when something's already active that you're thinking about you get what we're talking about somebody could hit you over the head that might slow it down but not for very long because when you come to you'll have more to think about that's bothering you <laughs> so meditate the, the easiest way to it is to find something to focus on something that's not very meaningful Esther reaches for a sound sometimes she holds a note but holding a note even if she holds it mentally is uh, takes more focus it's easier for her listen in this room do you hear that hum yeah so just let's all be quiet for just a moment and listen to it Now some would say, well, is it the right note? We say, who cares? It doesn't matter what the note is. Just isolate something. Esther will, in some hotel rooms, she'll turn on the, turn on the air conditioner and then she'll turn it down to significantly colder than it is to make the compressor come on because the compressor is an easier to identify vibration. Or sometimes she'll turn a faucet on just so that she can hear the sound of the water something that will last long enough that she can focus upon it long enough that she can let that thought be the dominant thought within her so when the dominant thought within you is one that holds no problem or no judgment or no concern or no worry or no disappointment or no fear or no frustration or no overwhelmment 
you found a really good thing to think about because the resistance just washes away from you and then as it begins to fade and you come into alignment with who you are then often your thoughts will begin to move in the sometimes then in meditation you take the bounce ever had that experience you get the bounce you quiet your mind and now there's no resistance and then you go right to the solution that just a moment ago was a problem that's the power of meditation and that's the way we would go about it if we were standing in your shoes I, I appreciate the conversation you have about healers um, I, I do a lot of work with people and energy work with them and understanding that to under, I really don't want to know what their problems are because the, I want to see them for who they can be is is a great way to view it um, what is your definition of energy work I, I balance the energy of the brain in terms of the relationship between the different brain frequencies um, it's not uh, it, it's I allow the client to experience a shift on their own I just help them to do it and so the conversation that we had about that great big beast of a horse who stands as a vibrational equivalent of well-being you just muster that vibration within yourself focus on them and dominate the the environment no I it's it's done it's my wife calls it whole, uh, electronic holistic healing it's it's done through a computer I help by hooking the computer up and explaining to the client to, tr to try to quiet their mind, but that's kind of why I asked that question. But it, it, the idea is that you want them to be in the present moment so that they're, so is the they're purpose able to receive of, is it. Is the reason that this contraption exists, do you think, because people are so out of touch with what they're feeling that they can't determine what their vibrational balance is yes. without a contraption? Yes. Yeah, they, they, it, it provides a form of balance for people that are just so far out of balance that it just gives them the ability to come into alignment of sorts not not necessarily into the vortex but it gives their body the, their brain the ability to become in balance and it helps to deal with so do you think <clears throat> that you're assisting them in thinking thoughts a vibration is a thought well no you're actually trying trying to not have them have thoughts you're trying to have them let go of patterns that are existing so what you're doing is just a a sophisticated version of listening to the hum in the air conditioner yes <laughs> truly that is Excellent. but so so many people are overwhelmed with what's oh, going on we, we understand in other words when 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 you speak the laws of the universe that are oh so simple there are many people who refuse to believe the simplicity of it and a contraption is more believable yeah right good time for segment of lunch <laughs>